music, as in most arts, is uh, subjective. So if you say I'd like it a little bit more edgy, edgy to you might mean something different to me. Warm means something different to me to you. And it's finding a good conversational style and common ground to understand with the director to get what you want so you can give them what they want. And to be perfectly honest, being a director and a bossy bugger, it is occasionally hard to say, yeah, you're right, you're the director when you're a composer, to let go. So then what I'd do is, once I've spoken to the directors, I'd watch the film and then you make notes whereabouts in that film the emotional hit points or high points are. And also the titles are important because the titles should set up what it's like a book cover. And as much as people say you can't judge it, people do make you know, choices by that. So I would tend to write that and then usually from there what happens is you know that certain sections are a chase section so you're going to need a wee bit of um, fast paced music or rhythm music and that kind of stuff. And that's not so important as much as finding the general tone for the whole film. Um, and I guess that's when the, the creative sort of bit comes in where you find the theme that suits the titles, you find the instrumentation that suits it, does that work well on piano or violin or guitar or whatever, and then that sets the tone for the rest of the film and then you just basically start filling in stuff. I love the title sequence for it. The title sequence is gliding through the yachts. And there's a disquiet there, inherent in it, because of the kind of film it is. But that's not given away in the titles, but the pre-title sequence there is. You know, I know it's a, a COD movie, but you already have a sense of what's going to happen within the first couple of minutes of that film. And that's really nice, so that what you get is I need disquiet, there is an elegance, a smoothness, a, an enjoyment of just soft elegance about the title sequence. But if you can bring a sense of mm, not everything's quite right into that, then it unsettles the audience slightly. And I'm quite fond of melancholy, so I like to watch that. So I, it was that title sequence that really pinned it down for me, which was a melancholy, elegant, simple. I like simplicity in writing anyway. I, I referenced Brian Eno early on, and that ambient, paired back stuff works really well. So it was from there, really, I got the idea from it. And what's nice about working with Ryan on this is that I had loads of time. And I can be a right pain in the ass because I can take a lot of time work doing a normal day job as well. But quite often a composer will only get a couple of weeks at the end. And not always will they be able to refer back to the director for checking stuff and that's the most difficult thing. Do you like this or not? If not, why not? And once you've got those answers and you put stuff in, then you'll usually get approvals. But what you need to do is write it, send it off, get it back in notes. The good thing is, is because I took the film in four parts so I could work on each one. He could be listening and watching one part while I was working on the next one. The danger is, of course, if you're way off the mark, then there's a waste of time doing that work. So it basically, once you get going into it, you can sit down, concentrate and write, almost write to order, which sounds terribly pragmatic, but that is the case. You know, particularly with, say, commercials, non-creative stuff, a bit more, you know, regular stuff. You write to that because you've done similar things to, and there are set patterns, like said, for chase sequences or builds or moments that pay off or whatever. And in a horror film, the music is crucial, really crucial to getting the audience to go, <gasps> And, and you ever watch a horror film or a ghost story without music and it doesn't bother you. So it's that also understanding the genres and writing uh, moments or hit points is that's to order. You know, you have to do those and that's just the way you do. That's not creative, it's just the, how it has to be. And that's the tricky part in it, is to make sure that still works within the context of the creative tone you've set. Mm -hmm.